Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a bit. I'm sorry, we traveled a bit, we had some family things to tend to, but we're back home and ready to go on with this bag collection series. Uh, I actually asked you guys on Instagram this week if you wanted to do something a little bit different, maybe some vlogs, maybe some favorites content, some, I don't know, something to spice it up a bit and you were adamant that we should keep going with this bag series and I'm not gonna complain, I love doing them. I don't get to geek out over bags very often so I'm really happy that I can do it with you. And today we're doing something super adorable and short and sweet hopefully because I got an event to go to. I'm not, don't usually wear a blazer alone in my, in my attic. Addict? Wow. Attic. Uh, we're heading over to like a lingerie event so don't mind my little there's like funny light on it too. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're dealing with a really adorable bag brand that I've been a fan of for a few years now today called Lueve. Yeah, that's how you say it, Lueve. I've heard it butchered in very strange ways in the past, but hopefully I just taught you something. If not, you're really smart and that's cool. Lueve is a brand from Spain, from Madrid actually. It's based out in Madrid, owned by LVMH. And uh, they've been around since the 1800s, I wanna say, like 18. Let me look it up. 1846, that's nuts. They're a leather-based company mostly, like leather goods, really, really beautiful pieces. And 2013, I wanna say, Jonathan Anderson came to the house and kind of spiced it up, brought it back to the forefront. If you guys don't know, Jonathan Anderson is the man, the legend behind a JW Anderson. Wonderful British brand that I really enjoy. Again, collecting novelty pieces from. He's just got a good eye, that guy. And ever since he took helm of the house, let me tell you, the pieces have been the leather goods have been next level. Was it the puzzle bag? I don't know, they make really beautiful ready to wear, really beautiful leather pieces and really adorable leather pieces. I can't, no, I keep saying adorable, but you're gonna get it in a bit. There's only three bags to talk about and all of them, well, you'll see, there's there's a little menagerie theme going on. So without further ado, let's get started with my first Lueve purchase ever. I never got a puzzle bag. They have so many beautiful trendy bags out and about right now. They're quite pricey though. I, I kind of like restricting my budget for trendier bags, uh, like not over a certain amount because I feel like they kind of come and go. I've made that mistake many times before, but these guys were so unique and kind of taught, like spoke to me. They were really close to my heart and my personality. So I absolutely had to pick it up. First one being ah, this little heffalump. That's right, heffalump, not elephant. If you get the reference, you're, you're cool like me. Uh, this is the Lueve Elephant. Uh, I originally saw it without even knowing what Lueve was, if I'm gonna be honest. I learned about Lueve's existence thanks to this guy. A few years back, actually, I saw this on Instagram with no brand attached, just a random shot. And I was like, I need to find this bag. I need to own it. This is the most beautiful, cutest thing I've ever seen. And sure enough, uh, the first time I saw it in stores, I picked it up. I wear this way too often. Like this should not be a bag that you wear every day. And I get to somehow, I don't know why. Uh, it's got, of course, all the bags I'm gonna talk to you guys about today have a crossbody strap. There's something about pinks, like, a, like a, a rose tone that really, it's hard to clash with other pink tones, like blues, greens, I find it very, very hard to match perfectly, but something about like a lighter pink kind of goes with everything. Should I wear it tonight maybe even? So this one definitely got a lot of wear, probably the most out of the three I'm gonna talk to you guys about today. I wore this just last week at an event we had at Cirque du Soleil, very on theme. <laughs> and uh, yeah, big fan of this one. My father named him. Uh, all of the bags I'm gonna talk to you guys today have names. This one's name is Hannibal. If you know your history, you'll understand why. My dad is a big history buff, so you'll get the reference. If not, Google it. Fun, learning. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? I'm sweating already, we just started. But yeah, definitely an adorable little one that will stay in my collection forever, all of these will. Next up, second bag. I feel like I've gotten these one each summer. So this one was last summer's culprit, one of my very, very favorite animals of all time, the panda. Absolutely obsessed with a monochromatic number, as you guys know, and who can resist a bear? Bears are my favorite animals, I think. Not that you care, this isn't about favorite animals. Why do I make YouTube again? Too adorable to resist, uh, I got it on sale. Also, these bags tend to go on sale, so I definitely recommend if you wanna get your hands on one. They are quite pricey for what they are, unless you like really embrace the like nostalgia, not nostalgia, but like the kind of funky, what's the word that I'm looking for? I don't know, oh well. <laughs> if you embrace the funky nature of them, I think they're really worth it because they do make a statement and they look beautiful in a closet, look beautiful in a collection. And if you're a sort of kawaii, adorable animal lover like me, it was kind of a must buy. So this guy also has a crossbody strap. Again, monochromatic number, goes with a lot more than you would think. It's probably the one I get the least wear out of, <laughs> speaking of which, but it's definitely an adorable one and I plan on keeping him around forever. This one's name is Leatherface. Did you get it? 
Yeah. I love me a horror movie and I love me a little funny joke, so that worked out nicely. And last but not least, I told you guys this one was gonna be short today. I got this little guy for Christmas and he might just be my favorite. I can't say that, they're all my aunt. Like I literally cannot pick a favorite between these. I know which one I wear the most, but I can't tell you which one I love the most. The little bunny, I love this textured leather that Lueve does. It's so beautiful and the way that they cut his head, I don't know if you could see. Meh. There's really, really beautiful intricate detail, the way that all of these animals are kind of folded on the side to create the body. I find architecturally pleasing. I find it very, very innovative and beautiful. And again, the craftsmanship, Lueve is a leather house. Is that a thing, a leather house? <laughs> Anyways, they know what they're doing. Similarly to Hermes, it's a craft that they've learned and uh, apparently uh, kind of mastered over the last 200 and so years. That's nuts, by the way. And he made for an adorable Christmas present, the little tail. Uh, I remember seeing him in a bunch of different colors and Peter had kept his ear out and had heard that I liked the white the best. So I could maybe do some like Alice in Wonderland Disney looks with the white rabbit. I definitely got a lot of wear out of him. Uh, white bags, as you guys know, are my favorite to own, my favorite to wear because they kind of go with everything. This guy is no exception and look how cute he is. What's his name? Oh, Chucky. We had been watching Child's Play a lot. What is it? These two are like horror names and this one's like a historical figure. So I don't know what the theme is there, but <laughs> I'm a big fan of all three. We got Chucky, Leatherface, and Hannibal. I guess he could be Hannibal Lecter. There you go. I made it a thing. And guys, just like that, that was part five of my bag collection series. I think so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this shorter little guy. Uh, I really do love these and recommend them, especially if you can get them for a good price on sale somewhere. Department stores always kind of run uh, great deals in essence even. So definitely recommend if you want a bit more of a novelty piece to pick one of these out. They're definitely a statement, but they stay in your closet as a beautiful memory of forever. If you did like the video and want me to continue on with this series, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what design house, what brand you'd like me to cover next. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that bell to know when the next video is going up and I'll see you next week. I gotta run, bye. Sorry about this light thing, by the way. Where is it? Here, there we go. Uh, okay, bye, I'm out.